Nation 7 News. Our Target 7 team has been combing through the hundreds of pages of documents unsealed in a civil suit against one of Jeffrey Epstein's closest associates. The billionaire who had a mansion here in New Mexico was charged with trafficking underage girls before he killed himself while in jail. So who did he know in the land of enchantment? Tonight, Target 7 has found more details about one connection. Here's John Cardinelli. Bill Richardson had served our state as a two-term governor and congressman. When he left office, he continued building his legacy by negotiating the release of international hostages and servicemen up until his recent death. But there's been another side of Richardson that has been described in the recent unsealing of depositions taken from women who claimed they performed sex acts for Jeffrey Epstein and his powerful friends while they were underage. This ranch nestled in rural Santa Fe County was a place that brought in the rich, the famous and the powerful. But it was also a place that some say disgusting acts were occurring. Underage women performing quote massages for billionaire Jeffrey Epstein and his friends. That according to these court documents that were recently unsealed. These are depositions of interviews that were released by the courts. And it doesn't mean that they're all true, and so we have to assume a presumption of innocence here. And these were not regular massages. The accusers say the acts involved nudity, sex acts, and sex toys, and at times, underage girls. One of the powerful that is accused of visiting Jeffrey Epstein's mansion is former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson. Bill Richardson was one of our most prominent politicians here in New Mexico. And so it was disappointing to see that his name has been associated with the Jeff Epstein scandal. KOAT legal analyst John Day. This is all information that people have heard bits and pieces of before, so there's nothing that's terribly surprising. The documents released last week contain more than 900 pages and describe what occurred here. They are a part of a civil suit filed by this woman, Virginia Jufri, against Ghislaine Maxwell. Maxwell, a longtime acquaintance of Epstein, is currently serving prison time for child sex trafficking. Jufri says she was recruited at age 16 to perform the quote massages. In this document, she says Maxwell sent her to New Mexico to give a massage to Richardson. She could not recall the dates, and it's unclear if she was underage. Most of these allegations that have just been unsealed are not brand new. We've heard similar allegations in 2019, and back then, Bill Richardson clearly denied the truthfulness of any of them. Target 7 also found Richardson's name in four other documents. Jufre's attorneys wanted to depose him. In this document, Jufre's attorney said Richardson, quote, has knowledge of Maxwell and Epstein's sexual trafficking conduct and interaction with minors. It doesn't appear that Richardson ever gave a deposition. We also found Richardson's name and others with New Mexico addresses in Epstein's black book. It's a sad day for New Mexico as a result. Although Bill Richardson, I suspect if he were alive, would deny the truthfulness of them. For the past five years, Richardson's attorneys and spokespeople have maintained that the former governor was not friends with Epstein. They've denied the accusations. They've said that Richardson and his wife had only been to the ranch once. Richardson's attorneys have also said that the former governor had been cooperating with federal investigators and that he was neither a subject, target, nor witness in the case. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. Epstein also donated to Richardson's gubernatorial campaigns in 2002 and 6. If you have a tip for Target 7, call the tip line at 505-884-6347 or email newstips at koat.com.